Well, good afternoon, Craigslist and YouTube shoppers. This is my e-bike. It's a 2012 HJJ from Shenzhen, China. I put this together and it came as a kit. The plastics in the front box were damaged in shipping, so I glued it all back together. Fiberglass and epoxy. The surface paint was all modeled, so I just went ahead and painted over the cracks after I repainted it. And Made some yellow lightning bolts to disguise it. Everything else is new. The battery box is new. It's been repaired. There was a little crack right here from shipping. It's been reinforced with JV Weld and fiberglass and epoxy on the inside. Structurally, it has a band strap of steel. The lower tray is made out of steel. The footbeds work. This auxiliary battery box is brand spanking new. There's two sets. A 60 volt 20 amp hour batteries in there. They're used batteries. They were in about 30 mile range um, The front end by wheel is 16 inches in diameter a standard 16 by 3 scooter wheel with uh, shoe brakes on it The rear wheel used to be a 450 watt now it is a 1000 watt motor it was originally designed to run at 48 volts. It's been upgraded to 60 volt at 25 amperes. That's 1,250 raw watts of power maximum consumption by the controller. Going out to the uh, wheel, it gives you about 1,000 watts to the ground. Actual real brake wattage. That's about one and a third horsepower, which would give you about 35 miles an hour if it was running unlimited. But I'm not going to take the limiter off the bike. It's set for 25 miles an hour. Which means the bike will still accelerate like hell on wheels and run up to 25 miles an hour faster and it will provide a little bit more hill climbing ability. It's got a metal rear stand. The uh, sprocket and chain, I still need to reattach a new sprocket on the rear. It was kind of stiff. It had some bearings in it that were kind of eh. So I got a new sprocket on order and I'll have that chain attached. So it's an electric bicycle, no license, no insurance necessary. No SR22, none of that stuff. Great for people on recovery or don't have a, you'd want to afford the expensive monthly insurance and car payments and all that nonsense. Um, estimate the range now with the upgraded, upgraded motor. It's going to consume a little bit more power, but I doubled up on the battery pack as you can see. The battery box up front is nothing more than a cargo box that has a locking latch on it. This is brand spanking new also. You can carry more than a six pack of beer in the front or whatever. LED lights in the front, turn signals, and the bulb, and there are, there are bulbs in the rear. And they're nice and bright, highly visible. Turn signals make noise. Horn works. Just obnoxious enough to get people's attention when you're running running around. You can ride on the roads if you can keep up with traffic just like any other bicyclist. You have to be the laws of both motor vehicles and pedestrians. However, you can actually cross uh, crosswalks as a pedestrian if you walk the bike. And of course you're required to wear a helmet. It's got a motorcycle style seat. That's brand spanking new. The rack in the rear is new. The frame is new. I redid the uh, plastics, repainted them. They used to have a heavy gloss black on it. Now it's come sort of a matte black. Um, upgraded the paint on the frame so it'll withstand the weather and zip tied it. I even waterproofed the connectors on the inside. That's normally screwed down, but when I finished buttoning up the chain and the bracket on the rear in a few day, in a day or so, all the connectors have hot glue and vinyl attached to them so that to keep the water out in this nasty wet weather we have in the northwest. And uh, it's a fun bike. It's been sitting in the back corner of the shop as a shop queen. We kept picking parts off of it and using them to repair the bikes we were trying to sell. Finally, we had another shipment of bikes come in in 2014. And whatever parts that were left over were given to me. And I assembled this bike out of a couple different bikes this one these shocks are off of the 2014 bike brand spanking now there's a set of fold down cargo racks that i'm going to attach so you can add a book bag or carry something other than just a six pack on the rear rack handlebars are new 
mirrors are new. Instrument cluster had a new front panel put in there because it was damaged in shipping. I went through it rigorously as an electronics technician and radio repair technician. Uh, went through the, made sure everything was straightened out in that respect. Uh, reinforced the harness a little bit so it wouldn't chafe and rub against the steering column. Just a little few minor quality control issues that the Chinese seem to overlook is that they ship the bikes without all the fasteners tightened. And a couple of things were misaligned, but I was able to straighten that out, bring it up to a little bit better specification. This is a typical eco moped that we've sold about 250 of them. And only that I know of, three have been killed on the road, ran over by cars or backed over in a parking space, but otherwise they're all running on the road to this day. Um, this bike originally came with uh, 17 inch rims and 21 inch size tires total. But uh, the 16 inch wheels with this 1000 watt motor seems to be a better combination. I'm going to take it out for a spin and go do some hill climbing. So in the next clip I'll have, uh, have some riding footage here once I get this camera mounted on my helmet. Thanks for watching.